Hello, I am Doug from Stunt Island Central, and today I'm going to show you how to get Stunt Island running quickly on modern machines. Now, I will be showing you on a Windows system, but you can also do this on Linux or Mac. So the first thing you need to do is actually get the game files, and fortunately, that's very easy to do. You can get these from Good Old Games or Steam. Either one will work. The cost is about $10, but every now and then, they have 75% off sales, so you might watch out for those. But anyway, let's get right to the Good Old Games website and go ahead and go through the checkout process. It's pretty standard, but I'll show you just so you know. Uh, payment options, you can pay with credit card, PayPal, but eventually you will get to the place where it shows you that the order has been completed successfully. Now that the order is placed, you can use the profile icon and go to Games, and this will show you your list of games. So we have Stunt Island, click on it, and this will give you a couple of options. So it shows the option to download and install now, and this will install the game, but it will also install the Good Old Games Galaxy installer program. So if you don't want to do that, I prefer this option, just download offline backup game installers. And this will just include the game itself. And by the way, if you ever want the manual at any point, you can find it right here. And it's also on my website, Stunt Island Central. But I will go ahead and download the Stunt Island offline installer and open that. It's pretty straightforward. You can go into the options here, and that shows you exactly where the game will be installed. And it also creates a desktop icon. So I will go ahead and finish the installation. It finishes a lot quicker than when you had to do the five or six uh, floppy disks. So at this point, the game is installed and you can launch it right now and start using it. I wanna show you just a couple of tips though before I do that, so I will exit. Um, so here's the game and good old games, Stunt Island. And one thing I like to do is uh, copy everything from here. I don't really need the DOS box folder here, but I'm gonna copy this and go ahead and put it in its own directory C colon backslash stunt aisle. And the reason for this is that um, I can run DOSBox and customize it more easily. And then the game is just a little bit easier to find. It's just in C colon backslash stunt aisle. Okay, and the second thing I want to show you is you can run the setup program to set up the game. And there's a couple ways to get into this. If you are, are using the default installation, you can go into your good old games stunt island and go to launch settings. And that will start up DOSBox and give you the options here. So set up your input device, uh, mouse if you have it, uh, a joystick is an option as well. Under the sound, Sound Blaster is good. Music by default is Roland MT32. And you might think you might want that or AdLib Sound Blaster. But actually, if you switch it to use sound device, you'll hear the digital sound effects, which sound like this. As opposed to the synthesized sound, which sounds like this. And the synthesized sound is fine, but I just want to show you that you have that option. So choose to install with the above configuration and you're done there. So at this point, you can run the game from the desktop or from DOSBox. And I'll just show you how to do that if you have a, the DOSBox installation on your computer. So you want to mount the C drive, C colon backslash stunt aisle is where I put the game. Then you switch to C. And at this point, you can either run the setup, um, which is the place I just showed you, or you can just run the game by, by typing in stunt. Um, or if you just want to make it easy with your default installation, go into Stunt Island right here, and I'll show you what that looks like. So it starts in full screen mode, and the graphics quality is okay. It's not great. I'll show you in a future video how to improve the graphics quality, especially for full screen. Quiet on the set. Speed and... Okay, so the game's going to start up, and you're going to notice the frame rate is really pretty choppy. So here's my number one tip for DOSBox. Hit Control F12 uh, several times, and you can see already the frame rate is much better. Uh, what that does 
is that increases the cycles that DOSBox is running at and just makes the game run smoother. Okay, so you can uh, go into the game here and at this point it's going to ask you for the copy protection uh, speed or altitude or something like that. And you can get that from the PDF manual, which is a little hard to find, but there's also a nice website, which I will link to in the description. And you can go to my website, Stunt Island Central, and find it there as well. But the best way to get past this is actually to install the patch, which I will show you how to do in a future video. And that will uh, improve some other things in Stunt Island. So at this point, you put in the number and go in and start using the game. So this is how you get started with Stunt Island. It's pretty simple, but uh, as I will show you, there's a lot of more customizations that you'll want to use to make the game look a little bit better and just run better. So thank you for watching and make sure to go to my website, Stunt Island Central. First started back in 1996, but it's been newly updated and you can find all kinds of documents, downloads, and most of the things that you see here in this video, I have on my DOSBox tips page. So make sure to go there, find out how to install the patch, uh, set up DOSBox, and so on.